so graph of n between 0 to 2 pi will have few things first which we should analyze okay like uh, if you look at the four quadrant system as per the four quadrant system i can say that tan belongs to third quadrant okay so tan will be positive in third quadrant tan will be negative in second quadrant and negative in fourth quadrant it will be positive in first quadrant okay how we will define the points on the x-axis let us understand that as well so my first point will be pi by 2 then it will be pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi on the other side i'll take pi by 2 also for tan x you may have noticed till now that tan is not defined at pi by 2 so whenever any function is not defined at any value then that value on the graph acts like an asymptote now this asymptote is a dotted line and it means that function can never achieve any value when x is equal to that asymptote so at x is equal to pi by 2 function can never achieve any value so it will never touch this dotted line so these dotted lines are made in a span of pi from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this span is of pi unit similarly the next asymptotic line will come at 3 pi by 2 okay in our analysis we will not have any other asymptotic lines now to see the pattern how the graph of tan looks like it will be almost like this and then it will go on the other side like this okay so the first difference between graph of sine and cos is period okay obviously their appearance is very different but other than that the very fundamental difference is period period for sine and cos was 2 pi period for tan is pi the original orange part what i have drawn over here it will be just copy pasted everywhere in this span of pi units so from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 we will just get the same thing again copy pasted and if you look at this part like after after this okay it is ending over here but from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi it will start from the negative and it will end at 2 pi it will for sure go like this but we are not analyzing that so i'm not drawing it okay so we have to analyze mainly portion number one two three and four one two three four represent four quadrants and i will go back to that quadrant graph which i was showing earlier as per this tan is positive in first and third so you can see that in the first one this line is up it is above x-axis in the third one also it is above x-axis third quadrant is from pi to 3 pi by 2 so that you can see over here from pi to 3 pi by 2 it is positive while tan is negative in the second and fourth quadrant so they are lying below another thing for tan is that the period of tan is pi the reason for pi you can see over here that we have this span this graph being repeated in a span of pi every time it is just copy pasted in a span of pi and it will be drawn throughout on both the sides so as a function if i define tan i can say that tan is not defined at all odd multiples of pi by 2 how do we write that odd numbers are always written as 2n plus 1 and pi by 2 so 2n plus 1 is a general term representing any odd number you can try putting any integral value of n over there and you will see that you will get either pi by 2 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and so on so i can say that x is never equal to any odd multiple of pi by 2 for tan x to be defined if i talk about range of this so tan is literally getting every value from negative infinity to positive infinity so i can say that tan will get all real values as the answer unlike sine and cos we were getting values only between minus 1 to 1 so this is all about graph of 